And here we are at North Cape. I've just put my tent up, you know, the northernmost point of the European mainland, of course. But there is a deep, meaningful sense of finding out about yourself. I, I get that. I'm crossing Finland. And it's the most glorious day. And I think if you had any reservations about what you were doing in the morning, about being out here, then by the afternoon, they've all gone. You suddenly learn to, to like where you are, not where you think you're going to, because I don't know where I'm going. Um, I'm not planned that tonight. For me, the difference between loneliness and solitude is to do with choice, I think. I choose to be alone, but no one wants to be lonely. I certainly don't. And I think when, I, when you choose to be alone, that's when you engage with solitude. It's wandering in the desert kind of thing. I've done a lot of that in my time on my bikes, my Tenere 700, the Sahara, Nubia. It's like an Aboriginal walkabout, and for us it's like a motorbike ride, or in this particular case, it's a bicycle ride. I've lived on canal boats for 18 years. I've got a big history with canal boats in the UK, certainly. I've done a few big journeys on it. When I first saw my first uh, motorboat and butty go round a corner, it was like a traction engine and a trailer. It had vintage legacy, it had um, heritage all built into all of it, and I had, I had to have one. Just the most amazing feeling, taking a canal boat over such a brilliant structure. Sorry. Um, we should head towards the embassy. Shall we have a cup of tea? Oh, yes, have you got one? Right, um, here we go. Do, do you, you, will you hold the flask? Yes. Right, there we go, that's that. Yeah. Now, um, and you can hold that, can you hold that as well? Yes. Right. This cup is filthy, does oh, it matter? It's all right. Yes. I'll, I'll no, not I'll, your jacket. I'll, no, I'll have that one. All right, you, then. You have this one. All right, thank right. you. There we are, that's fairly young. Um, yes, it's fairly, fairly clean. Candy. Suddenly you stop and you realise that some of the best things and the best routes are found by accident. And here I am on what is an ex-long straight railway track going across lots of big fields in central southern Spain. But the point is I'm isolated and other vehicles aren't allowed here. Cars and motorbikes aren't, but bicycles are. And in a busy world, places like this are harder and harder to find. What does that tell you? <laughs>